I just like kept getting yarn, kept getting yarn, and the basket was full to the brim. Now another yarn I got is also a milk carton. Milk carton. Hello beautiful people, my name is Karina and today I have a yarn haul for you. It's been a hot minute since I've done a yarn haul, but I just had to show you this yarn because the yarn shop that I went to was pretty special, at least to me. As you may have seen from my last video, I'm taking a little break from the corporate world and one of the first things I did was traveling. <laughs> Recently I went to Singapore and Malaysia for a little family vacation and in Singapore I went to a little yarn shop to go yarn shopping. And it just so happens that one day before my trip, I was scrolling through TikTok and I came across this TikTok of this yarn store that had insanely inexpensive yarn plus like felt, safety eyes, crochet hooks, and free stitch markers. Now I went onto this yarn shop's page and I found out that they're in Singapore. Like what are the odds? So then I was like, okay, I have to go when I go to Singapore. Fast forward to my trip. I was looking it up the first day we were there and it just so happens that it was right down the street from our hotel, like within walking distance. So like I said, this was a family vacation. I didn't want to take up too much time because the rest of my family doesn't crochet. So um, yeah, we just went on the first day for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Um, we were able to walk there, super easy. It's, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the name. The shop is named, I think it's, pronounced Memo's Art House. Okay, so Memo's Art House, it is in a mall and it's like underground. Luckily, Memo's Art House on their TikTok, they have a little video guide on how to get there. Luckily it had that or else it would have been kind of hard to find it because the little underground mall had several floors. When I saw the shop, I was so happy. I was so excited to go in. There's a sign outside that's really inviting. And when you first walk in, you see all of the yarn. On the left side, they have like a little rack of example pieces that people have already made. And then you'll see like walls of yarn. When I went, there was also a table close to the entrance where people could get crocheting lessons and also I think just meet up and crochet. Going in, I kind of already knew what I wanted, but I really wanted to take a little round to see what other yarns there were because I only really knew of one brand. And yeah, so looking around, I saw a lot of cotton, acrylic, um, like those ombre cakes. There was also like chenille yarn that you can make like plushies that are super soft with. I saw some cones and I also saw some different milk cotton brands. And none of these I don't think we have in the United States. So it was all really new to me. But I'm sure you'd rather see the yarn than just listening to me talk about it. Okay, so this is the bag I got. Minus three skeins because I used three skeins while I was on vacation. Um, I'll show you what I'm making maybe a little bit later. Um, maybe I'll put a picture here if I'm done with it by the time this video goes out. But yeah, so this is the bag I got. It took up like half of a carry-on luggage. Um, luckily we brought some extra luggage. <laughs> they have like little baskets at the front for you to put your yarn in. And I just like kept getting yarn, kept getting yarn. And the basket was full to the brim. And I feel like if I lived in Singapore, I would be going there all of the time stocking up on yarn because let me tell you, the prices were so great, so great. Okay, just a disclaimer, a lot of these are the same yarn but in different colors because I really wanted to try this type of yarn. I don't know about you, but when I was starting to crochet, a lot of the video tutorials used milk cotton yarn and they don't sell that in the US. So I was really interested to see like what it was actually like. In the videos, they seem really durable and stretchy, but also soft, so I was super curious. Let me show you this one first. Okay, so this is the Cal Brand Milk Cotton, the five ply milk cotton. The entire middle of the store was this Cal Brand Milk Cotton in like dozens of different colors. This color is Cornflower Blue and I got basically six skeins of every single color. So yeah, I got six skeins of this. Um, each skein is 50 grams. I don't know how much that is in like yardage, but it's 50 grams. Um, I think it's 80% cotton and 20% milk fiber slash acrylic. Luckily, this yarn is machine washable, but um, you have to air dry it in the shade, which is not bad at all. Upon first touching it, 
It's not the softest yarn I've felt in the world, but it is pretty soft and it definitely is stretchy. I also got six skeins of this lighter blue color. I forgot what this one is called. And I took a video of this yarn section, but I can't read the name in my video. So yeah, I forgot what it's called, but it starts with an S. And yeah, it's a lighter blue than the cornflower blue. I feel like for all of these, I'm gonna use them to make clothing. In all the tutorials I see these in, they're used for clothing. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out, see if I like it. And if I like it, I don't know how I'm gonna source them because they don't sell them in the US and ordering them online is kind of expensive <laughs> compared to the price I got them at the store for at least. But yeah, I didn't even talk about the pricing. So one of these skeins of the cow brand milk cotton is 80 cents in Singaporean dollars, which is, wait for it, 61 cents in the United States dollars. 61 cents, like, huh? Dollar Tree who? There was only one more skein of this green, so I only got one of them. I forgot what color it is, um, but I really liked the green color, so I just had to get it, and there was only one more. Another color I got was this like reddish one. Um, I got six of these. I thought it would be like a good contrast to the blues I got. And the last color of the like cow brand milk cotton I got was this brown. It is a bit of a washed out brown color, which I like personally. So I have three skeins right here and I used three of them for my project I was crocheting on vacation. Okay, just to show you what it would look like worked up. So this would be like a row of single crochets and it's pretty stretchy. And then this is what it would look like if you did the moss stitch. And again, pretty stretchy. When I was making this, my brother said it looked like a placemat. And uh, I see where he's coming from. Definitely looks like a placemat. But I wasn't done yet and I'm still not done. But um, I don't know if you can tell what it's gonna be be by looking at it but put your guesses in the comment section and if you get it right um i don't know you get a cookie you get a prize so that is all of the cow brand milk cotton i got i got one two three four five different colors i'm excited to make some clothes with that now another yarn i got is also milk carton milk carton milk cotton <laughs> but it's a different brand and I don't exactly know what brand this is. From what I know of Chinese, I know that means like snow. Um, yeah, snow something milk cotton. <laughs> so this one, it looks like it is maybe 60% cotton and 40% acrylic or milk fiber. This yarn is also machine washable and you will air dry it in the shade. It also says you can dry clean it or hand wash gently. So yeah. So this milk cotton in comparison to the cow brand, it is a bigger skein and it also does cost more. This one was, I believe $2.80 in Singapore dollars. Let me d double check that. Yeah, so this yarn was $2.80 in Singapore dollars. And you get 100 grams, which is double of the cow brand, but the cow brand would still be less expensive based on the weight. Upon like first touch, this cotton is softer. I would also say the second brand of milk cotton is a little bit smaller than the five ply cow brand of milk cotton. I don't know about the four ply milk cotton, cow brand milk cotton because I didn't get that. Um, I only got the five ply one. But yeah, as you can tell, I kind of like this brown color, so I got this washed out light brown color. I only got one of these because I just wanted to try it first, but if I like it, maybe I'll have to go on another trip to get some again. That is all the yarn I stuffed into my suitcase on the way back. I had so much fun on vacation visiting this yarn shop, and I'm already looking forward to the next time I can go. If you didn't watch my last video about taking a break from my six-figure corporate job, why don't you go watch that? And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>